Well, I don't know that uh, Dayton PD was here. And they were um, assuming they were just collecting evidence they thought might be um, germane to the ongoing investigation of the shooting. Do they? Is it the FBI taking the lead on that search warrant, or do you know? Do you have any know if it was? I don't know that. Okay. What evidence are you looking for? I don't know. Um, I'm assuming that they're looking for anything that's uh, connected to what happened earlier in the day. Hey, I had to call on the bomb squad or anything for any hazardous material. Anything you know, like, or... uh, I think they, they cleared the house and uh, a few of the vehicles that were here. Uh, so um, whether the bomb squad was here in some regard, I know they took uh, due regard in uh, making sure that everything was safe when they went in there. Who all lived, or how many people lived in the house that you guys are searching? I'm not entirely sure. Um, um, at least uh, three or four. It's a family. Family. Well, do you, any idea what they've removed so far from the house generally? I don't know, and uh, probably couldn't. It wouldn't be fair for me to speculate on that. And, and were there any concerns as far as like explosive devices or anything like that that, that you're aware of? No. Were there uh, a range of weapons that you guys have? gotten from the scene or I don't know what was uh, collected or taken uh, from the house uh, so um, that would be a question to ask uh, Dayton PD or FBI so did they begin searching uh, well I got here at 8 and uh, that was already being uh, executed and being done uh, we had officers here um, initially at the scene just after 4 o'clock this morning so um, I think they were you know, it was sometime around six o'clock when you know, this was. Um, they got entry into the house. Is this uh, search still ongoing at this point? Everybody that uh, was involved in the investigative part of the search has uh, left the scene. Tell us why the road is still going to stay blocked. Then. Well, the, the road is going to be blocked because we are trying to. Um, We're just trying to give um, the family respect. Um, Why is this a lot of neighbors you? out and sort of like, I guess, we're out here looking, they're out here it's, looking. Um, you, it's just difficult because it's a tragedy. So. Uh, obviously, you guys have dealt with search warrants. That's not something new for your department. No. But a search warrant related to a search with a mass shooting, that I'm, I'm assuming something your department has not been through. Well, uh, yeah, that would be a little big for uh, for Bellbrook PD to handle by itself. But uh, again, this was um, an executed warrant that was uh, uh, asked for and executed by uh, Dayton Police and uh, Dayton FBI agents. So we were here to facilitate that, being that it was in the city of Bellbrook. Did you ever imagine in your wildest dreams that something like this and you guys would be executing a search warrant in this matter? Uh, no. You know, it's, uh, it's sad that uh, these seem to be... Um, more of the norm than not, so uh, it's things that uh, that we train for as far as the active shooters, we, you know, we train for those kind of things, but um, it's just difficult. What would you say to the residents of Bellbrook, the other residents of Bellbrook, not just on the street, but in the entire city? Yeah, everybody, uh, the Bellbrook is a safe place to be, nothing has changed, uh, we're here, uh, here at the scene, everything here is um, uh, safe and secure. Uh, nobody has anything to worry about. Uh, if anybody has any uh, questions or concerns, they're welcome to call us, and uh, we'll uh, handle that uh, as an on-call basis. But uh, everything's good. Were there any other federal agents involved in this search other than the FBI? Uh, FBI is the only one I know. Chief, what did you say the neighbors on the street have been dealing with this news? I mean, this has got to be disturbing for them. Uh, I've talked to the neighbors. Uh, I gathered them up and uh, talked to them. So, yeah, it's hard. Besides just talking to them and making sure they're doing okay, I know you mentioned that earlier, are they being interviewed? Uh, they don't. They haven't been interviewed, and you know we're going to uh, secure the street behind us to give them uh, uh, the respect and the peace that they, they actually requested, and we would provide that for them. Have you had any past calls or anything with, 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 this, uh, with this man that was involved in this? No. no Chief, nothing. Chief, do you know the family? I don't know them personally, no. But do you know some of the neighbors here? Is that why this is tough for you personally? Uh, I know a few of the neighbors, yes. Um, so it's, it's tough. Any idea why the Oregon district? I don't know. I don't know anything, any connections. Um, um, 
as to that to here. I don't know specifics. I don't know any of the storylines or the plots, um, so I can't answer to anything like that. How much of an area does Billbrook cover? Uh, Billbrook's actually it's uh, three square miles. We have about uh, seven thousand residents, and uh, it's a very uh, you know, small town, small town friendly. So uh, everything that impacts us um, uh, has a potential for it to be. Uh, have a strong impact on us, on all of us. So the connection, separation, degrees of separation are probably small. Very small, yep. Everybody knows everybody else, and uh, so, um, yeah, it's difficult. Is there anything in your mind you can compare this kind of thing to just what happened in Dayton last night and having it come down in your backyard like this? Well, uh, two very different uh, scenes, you know, what uh, Dayton PD uh, is dealing with than this. This was clearly just an execution of a search warrant. Uh, there wasn't uh, you know, the traumatic impact that they were dealing with there, so uh, it's very different. Chief, what was your first name? I'm sorry, I missed that one. Doug. 